Hi, I'm Kelly from Hello Social, and I'm going to give you 21 free ways to make friends online. Okay, so the first way, friend apps. Friend apps are like dating apps, but for platonic friends. You download an app on your phone, add a bio, and then swipe right on potential matches. Pretty straightforward. Okay, Bumble BFF is one. Swipe right on the profiles that interest you. Then there's Real You, which is an app that allows you to connect with people in real time. Then there's Squad, that's a really good one. It's an app that allows you to share your screen as part of a video call. You can join a party line with strangers, browse websites together, watch videos, scroll through social media feeds, or watch each other play games. Then there's The League, an exclusive members-only swiping app aimed at professionals. Then there's meetup sites. Meeting sites are social networking sites dedicated to organizing offline and in-person meetings for people with similar interests. For some meetup sites, it's possible to go to the virtual chat room at the event and introduce yourself to people like you would at a live event. Other meetup groups have online forums where you can leave introduction posts and talk to individual users. Um, a couple examples are meetup.com, meetin.com, then there's citysocializer.com. One of the things on their website recently was board games online, which said that users can log into boardgamearena.com for a 90 minute event to play the board game and then hang around longer to chat with others if they want. This is a really good natural way to make friends online. Then there's online communities. Online communities are communities on the internet where people with shared interests and sim similar purposes can engage and communicate with each other. So a lot of these communities weren't necessarily set up with the express intention of making friends, but it is definitely doable. So try leaving your own post and introducing yourself if there's an appropriate area to do that. Uh, you'll probably get some people welcoming you and that's a really good way to start. Or scout for people's posts that you found interesting and tell them that in a private message. So some examples of these places are Reddit, uh, often called the front page of the internet, a giant collection of communities, forums, based on people's interests. You can find a subreddit, subforum, to find other people with similar passions. Then there's Goodreads, uh, a site for book recommendations. Here, fellow readers share reviews of books that they love. So you can comment on a review that catches your eye and start a conversation with someone here. That, that's a good way to start a conversation. Then there's Her Spirit, a community connecting women from all over the world to support their well-being with daily fitness live streams, and it also provides mental health support. Then there's Quora, probably everyone's heard of Quora, question and answer site where you can go to get any question you have answered. Like if someone asks a question or an it leaves an answer you found particularly interesting, you can send them a direct message or you can ask your own question and, and uh, reach out to some of the respondents privately. And like there, there's also Duolingo, one of the world's most popular language learning apps, but it also has its own online community. Then, of course, there's social media platforms. So one strategy on social media platforms is to share pictures or content within social media community groups and engage with them regularly. You can leave likes or comments or questions. Another route is to message individuals directly. For example, you can mention how much you enjoyed some of their posts or content and that you have similar interests. Um, for Facebook, uh, Facebook groups work really well. Uh, on Twitter, you can find random conversations and respond with your own opinions. On Instagram, you can follow people who have niche interests with you and message them about how much you enjoyed the latest picture that they posted. Okay, so then another way to make friends online is video games. Um, there's different sorts of video games. Some are more MMORPG styled. Some are more like fighter styled. Um, a couple really popular ones, uh, World of Warcraft and Fortnite. Uh, World of Warcraft guilds and complimenting people work, work really well. Uh, Fortnite, you can be positive, chat to people, notice good work, send friend requests. Um, then there's online classes. Uh, so take advantage of the first week of online class for introductions, take advantage of study groups or a student lounge to chat about extracurriculars. Okay, then there's also volunteering. Um, you can try volunteering in person, like in a food bank or something is really good. Then there's virtual opportunities like libraries. Um, you can also try pen pal world to find a pen pal online. Uh, friends of friends can often be really good for finding introductions. Okay, so now that you know about all these ways to make friends online, uh, actually try it and go take the first step and make some friends online. It's, it's really hard now during COVID, but I, I believe in you. You can do it. Okay, so if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to get more like it. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.